Hello everybody, Sean Milburn here with Milburn Motorsports once again today. We're here for round one of the United States Touring Car Championship at Thunder Hill Raceway. This is day two and today's race day. So didn't get qualifying yesterday due to the transponder not working on the car. We needed to get that plugged back in. Now that's good to go so we can qualify again today, see what kind of position we get there. Got to keep up with Justin Krickenberger. He laid down a really fast lap time for this class. Um, so we're going to see if we can get close to his time, if not match it today. Um, and so hopefully we can have a good race later on in the day. Should be at about uh, 2 p.m. is when the race starts. But until then, we're going to do some practice. We're going to do some qualifying and I'll bring you guys along. Okay, so that was qualifying for day two. So that's the last session we get before the race. And I've gotten progressively slower. Um, it's been a combination of just using the tires that are on the car plus uh, setup changes that we've made being unsuccessful. So we're currently trying to uh, fix that before the race. We really need some rotation out of this rear end. And if we can't get it, it puts us in a really bad spot. Um, so I'd rather it be too loose than too tight. That is kind of what I'm going for here. Because at least if it's loose, the front tires will get some of the load taken off of them under the hard cornering conditions. Um, and that's kind of where we're sitting. Looks like I qualified with a 204, and I Hello? have to beat a 201 flat. It seems to would be what the pace is going to be. So there's three seconds somewhere that we're going to have to try and chase down, but it's going to be pretty tough. So we'll do what we can. Hopefully, I can get out in front at the start of the race, and then. Uh, just do a defensive drive uh, as long as I can, but we'll, we'll see what ends up happening. So the start of the season for the United States Touring Car Championship this year is a little rough for us. Uh, at the time, we didn't yet know it, but there's no VTEC coming on with the RSX, so that's the time I was missing. It was all because I just didn't have enough horsepower, and I didn't really realize it at the time since it still felt like it was moving, um, and I hadn't driven the car in a bit. And I figured everything was fine and I was just slow, maybe rattled from the accident, but that wasn't the case. There was a problem with the car. We'll still see how it does out here though. Hopefully everything goes decently, um, but we'll find out. Let's jump into the race and get to the action. So here we go. We're coming out of turn 14. This is on the outlap, so everyone's going to be getting lined up on the straightaway, prepping for the start of the race. I'm going to be lined up next to Justin Krickenberger on the front row here. Uh, we had quite a few cars break in class, so uh, round one is going to be pretty skinny in terms of car count. Uh, but hopefully things change in the future. It's been a rough time for a lot of racers uh, just everywhere with uh, hard times in the economy and people trying to get back on their feet. So hopefully the field will keep growing uh, the more the year goes through. But here we go. So we're lined up next to him. Our plan is to take him on the start. We basically have to get that done. If we don't get that done, then uh, it's going to be really bad for our race since it's going to be really hard to pass him. Hopefully these touring cars don't block us up here. Green flag dropped, away we go. Get a really good launch, and someone stalls it on the front of the grid. Oh, well, Lee got pushed into a wall. Justin's four tires out in the dirt, passing the whole field out in the dirt. So that's kind of, uh, it's going to kind of leave me in a rough position now since I have to try and chase him down between two cars that are out of class um, running at a slower pace so it's gonna be a really tough ask here but we'll see what Charlie behind us is gonna be doing oh a little bobble out of Josh line in front of us there but he needs to keep it clean through here his first lap everybody needs to sort out Rob Harper seems to be looking for a way around Justin Rob's been having problems with his car building boost he is a super touring car uh, but with car problems, it's not so super touring. Got Josh Lyon in front of us. You guys remember him from last year. Really good races with Josh last year, except this year he moved it up to touring car. So he's not racing in our class anymore. He's not our primary competition. But it'll still be fun to chase him around. So you can see just how badly everybody's pulling on me in the straightaway there. Uh, but I am really able to keep it up with them in the corners. It is where I'm basically making all of my time is through these corners. Um, and straightaways, not so much. 
seem to have pulled a good gap on the car behind. Uh, you can see a little, little white car out in the distance. It's going to be Daniel Rose who stalled it on the grid. Uh, he's going to be working his way back up through the field. He's a very fast super touring car. So he will be behind me eventually. Just looking for the space in which he might be able to pass me. It'll probably be on the main straight. But the brakes on this car, we got a set of Willwood Racing brakes for it. And it took a little bit of figuring out, but we got this thing set up great. Really good pedal feel, really good pedal range, and they don't really lock up too much anymore like the stock brakes did. Here we go, we got Daniel Rose. I'm just going to let him buy off on the left here. He's going to pass me no problem with that. Oodles of horsepower. Right up into six, back to fifth. Let's get it all the way in, touch that rumble strip. we got to use the whole track, all the momentum we can if we stand any chance. Uh, I'm just going to be really sitting back here and trying my best to get up on him, but it's really just going to come down to will he make a mistake or get caught by traffic. Alright, Daniel's getting held up by Josh here. Daniel really wants a way around, except there's no real way to do it through this section. Daniel's just going to have to be patient and wait for Josh. He should be able to do it by turn 6. And of course, here he goes up the inside. Oh, and they touch each other. Oh, and they block the whole track. Nowhere to go. Leaves me running into the dirt. I really had no other choice there. That's really bad because it slows me down and splits a gap up for Justin Crickenberg in front of me. We're going to keep chasing him down. I mean, he's got a, like a five second gap at least. So there's a lot of time I'm going to have to try and make up. Right now, he's just hanging a sausage behind his car, letting me chase it. He doesn't have to push his car nearly as hard. This is his first time running with us, and doing a 201 and qualifying through traffic uh, was kind of kind of nuts in the sense of that's an extremely fast time for this class, and to be able to do that through traffic uh, means that you must have a very capable car. So I know he's not even close to full bore. He's probably just trying to keep me close enough to give me incentive to keep chasing him. Um, while I'm driving, that's exactly what I'm thinking about, is he isn't using all of his car. He's going to be saving it for future races, um, whereas I'm back here pushing my car uh, as hard as I can to try and catch him. So I'm using up my car, I'm using up my tires, whereas he's just having a very comfortable race out front see behind me is pretty clear that little incident with Josh and Daniel really cleared up things behind me so I don't really got to worry about anybody back there and there's no chance of uh, overtaking cars from the GT class coming up on me anytime soon so I just got to keep my eyes forward and pay attention to what's going on in front of me it's looking like Rob Harper and Justin are tangling with each other for some reason those two are teammates um, and they are out of class. I mean, Justin is two classes below Rob, but Rob has been uh, having problems with his turbos, so he's not running nearly as fast as he should be. Looks like the car's still maintaining some good grip and good corner speed, but he doesn't have that power that he needs, uh, giving Justin a slight advantage. You see Rob just showing all over the place. Looks like, is he going to go for a pass at 8? Nope, he does it through 7 and gets in front of him through 8. So these guys are going to be going back and forth. This is beautiful for me. I just have all the available space in front of me to keep running them down. And the more they snag each other, the more I can keep working up to catch them. But even still, it's a hard ask with no VTEC um, and a slower car. Again, they're tangling. Justin just passed Rob right before the straightaway. Let's see if Rob takes him back. We're going to skip forward a little bit here. Coming out of turn six, we're still behind Justin and Rob, though they have split their own gaps. 
seems like Rob backed off a little bit, or Justin just sped up to get away from Rob. Because Justin is in front of him. I'm still pushing the car, by the way, going full bore, really as fast as I can make it go. Um, and it feels really good in terms of the setup. I just don't have the power to get it done. Uh, trying to go fourth to fifth there, and for some reason I couldn't find fifth. So I put it back into fourth. And it's really weird because the shifter's been losing its feel throughout this race in terms of I can't feel the notches that the shifter is going into. Uh, running in fourth there, we're going to try and get it up into fifth here. Let's see what the car does. Got to be careful if we could just miss the gear. Going to fifth. And I was ready to catch the motor to not let it over rev very much, uh, but now I do know this thing will not go into fifth gear. I stick it back into fourth. And at this point, I kind of have to abandon my chase. I just lost way too much time there. And the car's not going to go into fifth gear, which is the most important gear on this track. Try one more time. Really wanted to get it stuck in fifth gear instead of any other gear to just give me that extra top end. Because I'm going to be topping out fourth so fast here. Here comes Josh. He's recovered from his spin. And uh, with me being limping around the track. I'm just going to let him by. Look at the shifter. That's in gear and it's doing that. And it just got uh, knocked out of gear when I let go of the shifter, so I had to pull it back into gear. So there's some major issues going on with that shifter. Uh, that's really unfortunate that this has kind of happened in this race where I uh, started having problems after another problem after another problem. But that's racing. It's just... How many problems can you minimize and deal with before race time? And unfortunately, we've been having some trouble with the car and uh, couldn't get it done for this race. We're going to keep it moving here. Justin's long gone, but now I just have to focus on maintaining position. Running this slow, uh, there's all the chances of the guys behind me being able to catch up to me. I mean, they, they got mega slowed down by Josh, but Josh has already caught me. So I expect these guys to be about seven seconds behind, um, and we'll see when they when they end up catching up to me again. Fourth gear through there, you can hear that there's no VTEC changeover anywhere. And here we go, we're going through turn six again. And if you look in my rear view, here comes my competition. Chris is catching up to me. Behind him is Bob Ricardo in the GT car, so the GT car is catching us at the same time. I'm trying to keep as much pace as I possibly can. We've been running for a while now, so there's a very likelihood that any one of these laps to come will be the white flag, giving us the last lap of the race. Right there, I just had to clutch in, saving the transmission, saving the motor. Gotta let Bob by here. I don't want to hold him up too much, so we're just going to hold it left and let him pass us on the inside here. Here comes Chris. I'm doing my best to just use as much speed as I can down these straights, but it just doesn't look like it'll be enough. He caught me in a really bad spot where he can easily just get around me on the straightaway here. Not too much I can do about it. So I'm just going to hold left here and just, uh, just allow him to see what he wants to do. He's going to just drive around the outside of me. That was the white flag. Of course it's the white flag. Always uh, at the least opportune time. Uh, so that's a position lost, so that puts us out of it, but we're going to keep with it and see if Chris makes a mistake. I mean, I'm, I'm here behind him, so I might as well just go for one more lap. He can still go four wheels off, and then we have our position back, but that's a pretty big ask. Coming up on Michael McCulligan here in the Go Go Gear Civic. I believe the Go Go Gear Civic was having trouble as well 
Uh, this is the first race of the season, so there's always going to be problems with people's cars if they haven't gotten them sorted out. Uh, our car is one of those, you know, the wreck at Sonoma. This is the first time we got to take the car out after that wreck, so... Um, for that, I think the car did pretty good. The shifter is definitely something that we need to fix after this, and then we need to figure out that VTIC issue. When we end up figuring that out at Sonoma Raceway, that will be the next United States Touring Car Race. nothing we can do. If I had fifth gear, I might be able to make something work. So final time coming onto the main straight here our last opportunity for Chris to blow it, and he doesn't. I was mildly disappointed with how things turned out, um, as anyone really would be. I mean, I was running the car pretty strong, but just couldn't keep up, and then started having some shifter issues, so happens that way but there's always another chance to get him next time good race to Chris that was pretty fun at the end there giving me the wave as I'm coming up on him here gonna go give him the thumbs up and it's time to head to scales hope you guys enjoyed that race So it was a pretty interesting first race of the U.S. Touring Car Championship for the 2022 season. Cheers! Cheers, everybody out there watching. My pot? Oh, I think, oh no, I put it over there. I put it over there. So I'm going to go grab my trophy, but that's it. Everybody got champagne. I ended up pretty scot-free. Uh, it's been Sean Milburn with Milburn Motorsports. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.